So what's up with you and Matt Hoffa? Nothing, man. Oh, then they keep keep talking about me. Like we we po we did the post, and I'm like, I know both of y'all, and I'm like, where did this come from? I didn't even heard of this. What happened? People was talking, saying his name. Uh, I guess Matt did an interview with with, uh, with Doggy Diamonds. Yeah. And uh, he said that he invited Tax Stone to fight him. And I honestly, like, I didn't even watch the video, so I don't even know what the fuck it's about. But what, is there some sort of issue with you and Matt? I don't got no issue with that nigga. You know, I be disrespecting the man there because I think he's a clown. You know, he be bullying dudes. And then, you know, when the white dude went in his mouth and beat him up, what's the white dude named Disaster? That's his name, Disaster the Battle yeah, Rapper? The disaster That's punch, the one who fucked him up, right? Yeah, Math Hoffa was like, oh, they jumped me. They didn't, you know what I mean? I was like, whoa. Like, I was so confused because I thought he was like a Brooklyn nigga. You know what I mean? I'm like, we don't complain about getting jumped. If we outside doing shit to people, you punching people in the mouth and then you get jumped, you expect, nigga, you lucky you ain't get shot. You talking about you got jumped. So, like, so what? You know what I mean? So what? I mean, because he did hit. Too. I would have expected he, I would have thought he was going to try to hit me too. You know what I mean? You I mean, hitting you know, everybody he, else. He hit Sirius Jones in that one battle. Yeah. And, I mean, was it a sucker punch? Yeah. It, it was clearly Sirius Jones wasn't there to fight him. Mm -hmm. He hit him unexpectedly. Mm -hmm. and, and I even told him I felt that that was unwarranted. Mm -hmm. And when he told me the reason for it, I'm like, that's not a good reason. Like, you know, you just fucked your own up. Fucked up your own shit. Like I, and me and Math are cool. Like the, the my one and only battle that I threw that the killer. You, know, you think Math is tough when you meet Math. You you look at Math and think that he's, you know what I mean? Do you think he's serious? I think, I think he's serious. I think he's stand up dude. I think he's me, soft me, as baby. Me shit. Me and him have always had a cordial relationship. He's soft as baby shit, and that's why he came in. Picking on other battle rappers because you know that's a sport that you gotta you can't even probably be that aggressive to really be in that sport because it's a sport that's so touchy and they say so much crazy shit that you would have to take a lot. I always tell people Martin Luther King was a little bit stronger than Malcolm X. Hmm. You understand? What? Because Malcolm X, even though Malcolm X was for the you know you throw a stone, I'm gonna throw one back. You gotta be stronger to turn the cheek. You got to be mentally stronger to say, I am not going to react to what somebody did to you. Right, because MLK was saying some ass beatings. Th this is why I say a lot of us are weak at. I'm weak in that aspect where if you attack me, I will have to like fight you back. But you know what I mean? This dude was picking on these dudes, you know what I mean? And then when it happened back to him, when it happened to him, it was like this big thing. Hip-hop culture and the hip-hop this and the hip-hop that. I ain't never heard hip-hop so much in my life. That's when I was like, this dude is pump faking. The niggas, what is he, 6'1", 6 6'2"? Six no, nah, he's, he's, tall. he's taller than me. I'm 6'2". He's, like, he's like 6'4". Yeah, about 6'4", of pussy, you know what I mean? And it's like dudes like him... Dudes like him got to stop it. It's dudes like you who misrepresent the borough. You know what I mean? Because you out here. Niggas don't know you in Brooklyn. Don't nobody know you. Nobody know you, my nigga. Nobody knows you. You out here, you keep doing um, YouTube series and shit. And you, you a fake actor now because battle rapping just ain't working for you. T-Top cooked you. You know what I mean? You don't got no career. So now you keep just bringing up my name everywhere you go. And then that corny nigga Doggy Diamonds... Like, I told him today, stop saying my name. Like, don't say my name. You police, my nigga. Like, leave me alone. You dig what I'm saying? These dudes are cops, and they want to keep bringing up my name in interviews and keep talking about me. I ain't, I don't say nothing about y'all. Leave me alone. I told Math sorry. He still kept it going. I said, I'm sorry, man. I, I'm sorry. You told Math you're sorry? Yeah, on Twitter. Like I said, it was like, yo, I'm sorry. Like, I didn't want because I seen what it was. Like, he went and shot a YouTube video. Like, I was like, this nigga's crazy. Like, he's trying to make this some... Um, Publicity hip hop shit. I said what I was gonna say to you. You said what you was gonna say back. You said meet up. I was in Flatbush. I'm not from Flatbush. I said meet up. He ain't come. He's still doing interviews acting like he invited me somewhere and I didn't come. I don't wanna fight math. I don't want no beef with that nigga. I'm on the lane of progression. But stay the fuck away from me. Don't mention my name. I'm not gonna mention your name. I'm sorry, my nigga. Whatever I did to your pussy ass, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, nigga. No disrespect. That sounds a little disrespectful. What? 
<laughs> you call him a pussy then you He is pussy though. But um, my thing is if you really pussy, just be like, yo, I'm pussy. Accept it. Ain't nothing wrong with that. People don't like being they self. That's what's wrong with the world. Everybody got to wear this mask and keep up this thing. But, you know, what you going to tell your kids when when you're not really who you are? Like, it's certain things. Like, I feel like you can't lie. You lie to people you're scared to. And so many people are scared of society, scared of the public. So they got to lie every day. They have to live a lie. Yo, I'm going to do this. I'm going to look rich today on Instagram. I'm going to sit on my man car that just bought the new car and make these, these 12 females think it's mine so I can get some sex out of them. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post this watch up so niggas think I'm balling. I'm going um, I'm to um, take these dudes' bottles when they come to the section. You know what I mean? There's so much facades and smoke screens, and, and that's a part of it. Men thinking that they have to be oh, yeah. tough. And hip-hop, it's so many men. You look gangster rappers. Look at Slim Jesus, for instance. Slim Jesus came through and said, yo, I'm not like that. Everybody was mad at him for being truthful. I said, who are we? Who are we to not accept that this man is not like that? And he's just acting. Who are we to not accept that this man is gay and he don't, and he don't care? Why do we care? You know what I mean? I'm all about promoting the fearlessness and people being they self, not fearlessness and you trying to scare people, fearlessness and you just being yourself. Because I fuck with real niggas. You dig what I'm saying? And when I say real niggas, I mean real niggas. I got gay friends that's real niggas. But you got some straight men that'd be like, yo, them niggas is gay. Like, they. You got gay, gay friends? Yeah, I got mad gay friends. Mad gay friends? Yeah, I got like at least 15 to 20 of them niggas now. I'm in the industry. Like I'm, I always had a gay friend. Gay Corey. Everybody know tax. Know me for being with Gay Corey. Gay Since Corey. junior high school. This is a known fact. That's this is name, not no gay joke. I, we always call him Gay Corey because, you know, growing up, like, his name was just Corey. And then out of nowhere, one of the girls blew him up that he was gay. And then we just attached gay to his name. So we, to this day, we grown men still call him Gay Corey. 